Hello, I'm Michael Lachance. I'm an author in Nebraska. I live in David City. I'm actually at the Horeska Library. We're very fortunate to have such a nice library. Today I'd like the opportunity to do a reading from my book, The Camera. It's about a priest in World War I who has to go to the front and support the troops through prayer and of course pray for those who have died. I'm going to read from chapter 2, starting chapter 2, 1916, June. Nighttime. The battlefield of Verdun was an open wound filled with mines, gunfire, and miles of tangled barbed wire. The French and German were firmly in their trenches. A French soldier, Philippe, held trench binoculars in hand and inched them ever slow, slightly above the sandbags that protected them from German bullets. He looked at a horse with its center blown out. The rider lay nearby with his hand pointed upward, dead. He lowered the binoculars and sat down. Other men had talked amongst themselves, some smoked, some cleaned their rifles, and others thought about nothing. Better to think on nothing than to think about their lives before the war. A single shot would end any voyage home. Philippe lit a cigarette and drew in a heavy breath. The orange glow brightened his dirty face. His cheeks hung unusually low for such a young man, and his face had bits of dirt that were slightly embedded in his pores. No one thought to wipe their face off after German bombs landed nearby. His helmet sat cockeyed on his head, and it would deflect a bullet or metal fragments from a bomb. His rifle lay against the dirt wall. He could grab it and shoot in a couple of seconds if need be. He drew in another breath of thick smoke and then pressed his fingers hard against his eyes. A man stepped carefully around the men. The man stopped and nodded after a quick chat with some men, then moved towards Philippe. Philippe lowered his cigarette and studied the man. He spat and then shook off the cool air. Sergeant, the man said. Sir, Philippe set the cigarette on his rifle and then saluted him. The lieutenant saluted, turned, and peered over the sandbags. Then he quickly lowered his head. Sir, Philippe said firmly, one shot. We, oui, I know. The low light from a lantern showed the young lieutenant's face. He had the skin of a baby and strong cheeks. Word from HQ is that a priest will join us. Philippe tried not to shake his head with disappointment, but I've got my men to look after. Wait, I know. He stepped past Philippe and looked down the trench line, but Sergeant Lachance will take five or so of your men. Sir? He touched Philippe's shoulder. You know the terrain, the enemy, and you have been very good to survive this long. Philippe tried to smile. The lantern wasn't close enough to show his face, but the shadow showed that he wasn't happy about it. No more charges then. I cannot promise that, the lieutenant smiled, but it is likely that the priest will not ever charge the enemy. Yes, sir, Philippe said. When does he arrive? perhaps mid-morning or late afternoon. The lieutenant dipped his head. What's he like? Philippe didn't dread the thought of looking after the priest, but because he'd been freed from the whistle and the charge. Like a priest, the lieutenant said and then nodded. Philippe stood at attention and saluted. He thought about the whistle as the lieutenant disappeared into the shadows. When the whistle blew, the men leapt from the trench and charged the enemy. They faced bullets that punctured them, bombs that threw sharp metal at them, and barbed wire that grabbed at them. Philippe swallowed hard. He'd faced the guns and the bombs many times. Thank you. This is my book, The Camera. It's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iTunes Bookstore, and Smash Words if you'd like an ebook. It is available in paperback. Thank you and good day. Last night as I got home, I 
about a half past ten There was the woman I thought I knew In the arms of another man I kept my cool, I ain't no fool Let me 